In this example, we're going to review how to create bridge uh, prototypes for our projects. As you can see, we can use the ABC wizard to generate a bridge very quick. As you can see, this setup comes as a standard every time I create a new bridge. And then I got the bridge, right? But what happens if I don't want this type of bridge every time? Maybe I want a hammerhead pier here, and I want a retaining wall abutment here, since I'm going to be trying different options. This is what we call the ABC datasets that are here. So these are the ones that is active right now if the project is in English or is in metric units. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to the ABC wizard and do the setup that I need. For example, I know that I want my prototype to be three spans and I want it to be with a Ashtos. Well, let's try a completely different a spread box like that. And it's going to be a hammerhead pier, uh, for example. Right? That's going to be my standard bridge. And I create the bridge. So I want this to be my standard every time. Right? So then I go one more time to the ABC data sets and I create a new set, right? And it's gonna be my new bridge type and add it. That's it. Okay? So now when I go to a new project, oh um, I make it active, I make sure that I make it active. I didn't active set. Now it's good. So then when I go back and create a new project, right? Okay, so I go to the ABC wizard. Now the active set that I'm gonna take place is my spread box with uh, my uh, hammerhead pier and the substructure and finish. And now I have my new bridge. Right. So every time I create a new project, now my standard bridge will show up again the spread box. I want to go back to the standard one, go back to the ABC data set again and say this is the active one. Now when I go new and I go to the ABC data sets, now it comes the standard one. And this is how you create bridge prototypes using the ABC datasets. Thank you.